Hello and welcome to the video tutorial how to get started with the multi-step product configurator and how to use it with the fancy product designer. Right now I'm the back end of the WooCommerce product and I already created my Rayuel product with some attributes for my variations. And the first thing you need to know, you can only use attributes for the multi-step product configurator that you created via the attributes backend. So it's only possible to use it with the attributes created in this backend. WooCommerce also allows to create attributes dynamically in the product data panel right here, but this is not supported in the multi-step product configurator. By default, WooCommerce is displaying the different set variations in dropdowns with multi-step product configurator we, you can replace these standard dropdowns with some other UI modules you only need to enable multi-step product configurator and then click update. This will use the default options set here. Then refresh the product page and you can see the variations are displayed in another UI. It's not possible to add any other conditional logic or rendering. For example, you cannot add some extra HTML fields into the tabs. You can only do the same thing what the, what the standard WooCommerce dropdowns are doing, except of displaying the variations in, in, a, in another UI module. You can choose from different modules. Right now the tabs module is displayed, but you can also display the variation in an accordion. You can use the module steps or display the steps vertical. If you want to display the terms and the attributes next to each other, you can change the columns option for that. I would like to display my, my terms in a three columns. There are also some other useful options that I would like to explain. The auto next option will jump to the next tab as soon as the user is selecting one term in the current selected tab. So I will show that in the demo. Now if I click apples, it will jump to the laces attribute. The step-by-step -step option is useful to force the user to make a selection in the current selected tab first. After that, the next tab will be 
enabled. As you can see, I cannot select the lasers tab, it's blocked. First of all, I need to make a selection in the material tab. Now the lasers are getting enabled. If you want to display a thumbnail for the terms, you can also do that easily with the in the attributes backend. For that, go to the attributes, select the attribute, um, material, select the term, and in the image URL you can set your custom thumbnail for the term. can see the sum that is displaying here. The multi-step product configurator can also be combined with the fancy product designer. Right now I enabled the fancy product designer for my sneaker demo and when you click on the terms of material, the image will be replaced in the product designer. So how does that work? The first thing that you need to do is to select the product for the fancy product designer that you would like to display in the designer. For that I imported the sneaker demo from the demos. You can find it here. Just download the demo and then import the demo via the import button. jump to the product builder and in the product builder I defined a place value for the layer material and the replace value is material as well. Then go to the attributes backend, select the attribute material select the one of the terms and in the term you find another field the fancy product design options that allows to interact with the fancy product designer from the term you only need to enable the options and use the same replace value as we defined for the material layer. In my case it's material. Right now it's only working for the material layer. I would like to show you now how to set it up for the laces layer as well. So I did the same for the laces layer. I defined a replace value laces and defined an image for the term in the image URL option. In the product layer I select the laces layer 
And as you can see, I'm using the same replace value as I said for the terms uh, for for the terms in my attribute. Now let's have a look in the front end if it's working. Select my material and now I select a laces and you can see the image is replaced as well.